Well, new tonight, it was a massive train derailment that resulted in nearly 2,000 people in Ohio being evacuated. The Norfolk Southern train was derailed one year ago, was in Decatur the night before the wreck. WAD's Doug Wolf reports President Biden was in Ohio this evening to speak with residents who are still worried about their health caused by toxic fumes. The doomed train had come from Madison, Illinois, and stopped here at the massive Norfolk Southern Yard in Decatur the day before the derailment. Crews add cars to the train, which made it 149 cars long, with two locomotives up front and one unit at about mid-train to power the massively long freight. The derailment caused 38 cars to leave the tracks, 11 of which were tankers carrying hazardous materials like vinyl chloride. President Biden is in East Palestine, telling residents he will hold the railroad responsible. Make sure they make uh, your community whole now and in the future. And what they do not make whole, what they cannot make whole, what isn't made, the government will make whole. Residents have expressed concerns over their health after more than one million pounds of toxins entered the air, soil, and water. While there are acts of God, this was an act of greed that was 100% preventable. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw says the railroad operates safely. Norfolk Southern was a safe railroad. I promise to make a safe railroad even safer. Multi-million dollar railroad companies transporting toxic chemicals have responsibility to do it safely. And again, Norfolk Southern failed. Norfolk Southern has already spent more than $100 million in East Palestine, with more costs expected. In Decatur, Doug Wolf, WAND News. The National Transportation Safety Board will issue its final report and findings June 25th.